Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to be talking about the vaccine from Oxford and AstraZeneca and how it works. So basically what it is, is they took a chimps adenovirus and inside of this virus they genetically engineered the DNA inside of it or the RNA in order to make spike proteins. Uh, and these spike proteins are the same spike proteins that exist on the real coronavirus. And so by having your body's cells make a bunch of these spike proteins for a long enough period of time, you have an adaptive immune system that is able to begin to realize what kind of plasma cells make antibodies that have high affinity for these spike proteins. And then you also have T cells that are able to figure out what kind of T cell receptors also have high affinity for these antigens. And so the reason this is really cool is that without ever seeing the real bad guy, the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus, but by only seeing this adenovirus that made your cells produce a bunch of spike proteins, your body is now able to recognize the real coronavirus so that when you're exposed to it, you already have immune cells that are having these antibodies made that can stick onto the real coronavirus, as well as T cells with T cell receptors that can also recognize the coronavirus. So that's really cool because it basically makes you immune to the real coronavirus without ever seeing it but by only seeing the actual uh, chimp adenovirus, which in and of itself only makes this spike protein. It does nothing else. And that's the reason why uh, it's so useful to us. Now, the question is, you know, we already have data from phase three clinical trials from Pfizer and Moderna that are showing us that, uh, you know, their mRNA vaccines are really great. We've got 90% efficacy. Um, so why do we really care about this? And the reason is that mRNA is a very unstable molecule. And because of that, we need to store mRNA at extremely cold temperatures, minus 70 degrees Celsius to be exact. Uh, and this requires liquid nitrogen, and this requires a bunch of infrastructure in order to have an ultra cold supply chain is what we're calling it. Um, Dippin' Dots is actually one of the big suppliers right now, or one of the big uh, firms behind the supply chains for these mRNA vaccines. And so it's a very expensive process, and the issue is that if at any point in this ultra cold chain there are any problems, then you run the risk of your mRNA degrading. And so uh, that basically means that the vaccine that you get at the end of the day isn't gonna be as effective as it otherwise would be because of these issues, because we've made our supply chain so difficult between where we're manufacturing the mRNA to where we're actually going to be administering it, like at a hospital. So um, that's the big challenge that we have with these mRNA vaccines. And so the really cool thing about Oxford and AstraZeneca's chimpanzee adenovirus is that it only requires standard refrigeration. So we don't need fancy liquid nitrogen. We don't need an ultra cold supply chain. We just need standard refrigeration in order to deliver these vaccines. And that makes it a lot more easily transported and uh, distributed among all over the country and all over the world. So um, that's the really cool thing here to note about the new vaccine from uh, the Oxford and AstraZeneca people. And so um, that's where I'm gonna wrap things up for this video. It, the very important thing for us to make note of here also is that until we begin to vaccinate people on a much broader scale, uh, we do need to continue to practice social distancing and wearing masks. So until next time, be safe, be well, and take care.